So, you want to learn more about Stardew Valley, and you thought something called a garbage guide could help you. If so, you've come to the right place, my friend. Stardew Valley was released on February 26th, and I have been searching and searching, but so far I haven't found a single tutorial made by me. First, you have to name your character. This is a farming simulator, so what if I just name him Farm Simulator? In Estonia, that's a common name. Nah, but I'm gonna keep my favorite thing a secret, so I can reveal it as a dramatic ending. The point of this guide is to teach you how to become extremely rich. So you want to dress like this. Some Greek philosopher once said, first step is to dress nice if you want to make some serious motherfucking money. That same guy went on to build the Colosseum. The game story is about some guy with a great stable job in the tech industry. Then he has a midlife crisis, sacrifices everything for a career in agriculture, even though he has no experience or money. Simple, yet beautiful. I hate it, I'm gonna make up my own backstory. Far into the future, in the year 1997, the computer Skynet sends a Terminator back in time to destroy the leader of the resistance, John Connor. But then the Terminator has a midlife crisis and buys a farm. So we get to the farm and it looks like the house version of a meth addict. I haven't actually played this game before, most people would say that completely disqualifies me from making a guide, and you would be right. The first quest is to grow a parsnip. No one likes parsnips, so that's obviously a trap. The second quest is to get to know everyone in Pelican Town, but that didn't happen, because I'm too shy. And no one would approach me because I look like the world's biggest douche. After a couple of days, the Mayor Lewis will show you the community center, but why would I want to enter that death trap? <gasps> What's that? The local wizard tells you that the community center is filled with forest spirits, and I can help them, and blah blah blah. Hey, Mr. Wizard, if that even is your real name. Does this look like the face of someone who gives a flying fuck about forest spirits? I care about money, and unless these magical beings have a disposable income, we are done here. I need to do something more business-like, so I'm going to go into this cave and fight monsters. Ha ha ha, this is fun. Wait, it's summer? Wait, I've played for five hours? What am I doing adventuring? Mining rare ores will never make me real money, as opposed to selling cabbage. I was supposed to make more money than a cactus seller in... in a place where cactuses are in high demand. I'm, I'm not very good at metaphors, okay? But now that I'm done having fun, it's time to take this seriously. So I started reading Forbes and found out that the hot pepper industry is booming. Adventuring isn't completely useless, because you get metal ores that can be melted into bars. Look at the metal furnaces dancing. They are having the time of their lives. Realize now that furnaces aren't supposed to dance. I think I'm about to start a forest fire. If you have a copper bar and an iron bar, you can craft a sprinkler. But it was all for nothing. By the time the peppers had finished growing, the pepper industry was dead. I am starting to give up on my dream. I have decided to grow pumpkins. You see, the United Statians have this holiday in late October where they celebrate pumpkins and skeletons. Yes, it sounds made up but it's true, you can look it up. But not only am I well versed in the world's cultures, I am also a genius entrepreneur. So I'm going to sell the pumpkins after Halloween, when there's no competition. My stone walls have started to deteriorate, some have even disappeared completely after only 6 months. My PhD in geology makes me think that is not very scientific. But I wasn't sure. So I borrowed a stone from the lab and filmed it over the course of six months to see how fast it would decompose. But after six months, it was Earth. The game was right. My pumpkin plan worked. I now have some money. I also own chickens. As you can see, I have two fences. That's because I saw this documentary about some people who wanted to make chicken pie. Then the chickens found a wacky way of escaping by flying away. I think it was called District 9? I have built two pens for cows, I'll treat this pen better, and then tell these cows that they can become a part of these guys if they work really hard. But they can't. Because sure, all animals are equal, but some are a bit more equal. The winter is a great time to decide how you are going to make your fortune. I've sold peppers and pumpkins and made horse shit. Time to switch to something less... legal. Because crime does pay, kids. 
so I started selling mayonnaise. I didn't think I would be able to sell anything, but mayonnaise exploded like an atomic bomb over our culture. Literally everyone was doing it. Actually, if you tasted mayo in the late 80s, early 90s, there was an 80% chance it came from us. Even with the DEA destroying my base of operations and the Colombians taking their cut, I was still making more money than I could spend in a lifetime. I was finally rich. Now that I'm filthy rich, my first instinct was to buy an orphanage so I can demolish it and turn it into a factory. But there aren't any orphanage in Pelican Town, so I bought this random house. But no one protested its destruction, so what's the point? Now I have to find another hobby of an evil rich person TV trope. I bought a gold pickaxe. Only an extremely rich person or an idiot would buy something so useless. Do you know how soft gold is? Just bought this new unicorn here. It's fun to ride around here in the hills. But do you know what I care about a lot more than materialistic things? Money. Huh, Yo-Yo Mart wants 4,000 so they can get the community center to demolish it and turn it into a warehouse? That's my orphanage plan, you piece of shit! The community center! It's run down! There's not even anyone living in here! You are fucking terrible at this! Where the hell is the mayor? I'd hate to see it all dried up. Was that a threat? That's it! I've had it with your anti-corporate bullshit! I shall run for new mayor! Turns out the game doesn't have that feature. I was like 90% sure it was in the latest patch. But that's okay. I'm going to become something bigger. I'm going to become Emperor of Pelican Town. I just do not understand. Why is, why is that not in the game? It's like the creator has never even been to a small town. No. This is not his fault, this is Pelican Town's fault. They can't handle my high energy. I'm going to build a wall and make them pay for it. I can't believe they built a wall and sent me an invoice. Okay then, I shall upgrade my house so big it consumes the entire region. That's it? I can't upgrade more than that? But I have so much money! And Killian wept for there were no more worlds to conquer. My failure has taught me that there might be more to life than making money in a farming simulator. Time to help people. Pam, the local alcoholic, spends all her day drinking cheap booze. So I helped her, so she can spend all her day drinking expensive booze. I gave this guy the 4,000 so we can build his warehouse. It's a shitty evil plan, but it's evil enough. The local store is getting destroyed by big business, so I wanted to support him, so I spent 200,000 on fertilizer. Oh... Right. Ha! FBI, you call that torture. No wonder CIA is considered scarier. But after getting waterboarded, I'm pretty pissed off that my taxes goes to fund it. No, wait. I haven't paid any taxes. And it was at that point I realized that I was in some pretty deep shit. Okay, got a problem. The government just sent me a letter and they say I owe them 9 million in taxes and a rather huge fine. What do I do about that? Call them, tell them that you're very sorry and explain the situation. Apologize, like a 7 year old. How about no? Pay the taxes and the fine. The only solution is to fake my own death. So I tried that, and failed, and killed myself. But then I woke up completely fine, so I tried to kill myself again, and again, and again. Turns out I can't die! So I tried to leave, but the bus sent me to this desert, not home. And the train never stops here. You can't leave! Wait. If you rearrange the letters in Pelican Town, you get Let Panic Own. Of course! The intro was a ruse! You're not playing as this guy, you're playing as that guy! And this... This is hell! Wait, what was my favorite thing? No, oh, well that's disappointing. And that is the Killian experience. Okay, so this game was a hell of a lot more obscure when I started making this video. But you know what it has a lot of? It has a lot of salad. And this week's salad is me-